Hello and welcome to Learning with Lisa. It's time to find out about deserts. While you are watching, play Spot the Meerkat and tell me at the end how many times he appears. Did you know that about one third of the earth is covered in desert? Deserts are very dry places with very little rainfall. In fact, deserts get less than 25 centimetres a year. That's not very much at all. Deserts can be very hot like the Sahara or very cold like the Gobi or they can be both. The largest desert is in the Sahara Desert and it is found in Northern Africa. It is the hottest region in the entire world during the daytime in summer. Temperatures about 49 degrees Celsius are common, but at night the temperature gets much colder. It doesn't rain very often, but when it does, it is often heavy and can cause flash flooding. Much of the Sahara is rocky. There are raised platforms as well as flat plains. The Sahara Desert also includes mountains. Surprisingly, only a quarter of the Sahara Desert is sand. Sometimes strong winds blow the sand into hills, which we call sand dunes. Salt pans appear in the desert too. These are areas covered with salt and shine white under the sun. A wide variety of animals live in the Sahara. Iguanas, camels, kangaroo rats, black widow spiders and fennec foxes are just some of the animals that live there. Can you see any others? Desert animals have adapted to cope with the very dry weather. They are able to survive for long periods of time with very little water. Because it can be very hot during the day and chilly at night, desert animals need to be able to cope with a range of temperatures. Many animals are nocturnal. This means they hide during the day under the ground in tunnels or in burrows and come out at night when it is cooler. The kangaroo rat has adapted in other ways too. It gets its water from eating seeds. Let's look at how camels have adapted to live happily in the desert. They have thick eyelashes and three eyelids to protect their eyes from the sand. Their coats are light coloured to reflect the sun and keep them cool. Camels also have flat feet to help them walk in the sand. Have you ever tried walking in the sand? It can be quite tricky. Did you know that camels can go a week without drinking? Imagine us not drinking for even a couple of days. Life is not easy in the desert. There is little water, flash floods when it does rain, and sandstorms caused by strong winds blowing around sand up to one mile high and creating so much dust that it is difficult to breathe. Let's now look at one of the largest, coldest deserts. The Gobi Desert is a large desert in Central Asia. Temperatures range from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. In summer it is very hot, but in winter it is really cold. Camels, snow leopards, Gobi bears and Gobi ilex all need to adapt to be able to live there. They have thick, coarse hair and skin to survive the cold temperatures. Only certain types of plants can be found in deserts. These include a large variety of cactus, grasses, succulents, short trees and desert lilies. In order to survive the harsh conditions, plants need to be able to store water in their stems, leaves or trunks so they can live for long periods without water. They also have long roots so they can gather up as much water as possible when it does rain. 
More plants will grow in the oasis. This is an area that has a supply of fresh water and plants like to grow there. It's now time for our quiz. Let's see how much you can remember. What is a desert? A place with no rain? A place of what less than 25 centimetres of rain a year? A sandy place? A desert is a place which has less than 25 centimetres a year <coughs> of rain. Which of these plants would you find in a desert? Cactus? A willow tree? Daffodil? You would find a cactus in the desert. What is an oasis? A cactus, a sandstorm, an area that has a fresh supply of water. The answer is a fresh supply of water. What is the weather like in a desert? Always very hot, hot and cold, snowy all the time. A desert can be both hot and cold. Which of these is a desert? The sorry desert, the hot desert, the Sahara Desert. The answer is the Sahara Desert. How do camels help stop sand from getting into their eyes? Long eyelashes, wearing sunglasses, wearing a sun cap. Camels have long eyelashes to help stop sand from getting into their eyes. We've now finished learning about deserts. How many times did the meerkat appear? I saw him 11 times. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and bye bye for now. Bye.